Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, August 29th, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. The big news in the U.S. continues to be the effects of Hurricane Harvey in Texas. Uh, the rain is still continuing there now into the fourth day. It's rainy again in Houston. Records in Texas have been broken as far as rainfall amounts go. Some areas have received over 49 inches of rain already. The reservoirs, as we mentioned yesterday, have uh, opened their gates simply because of the fact that the walls of the reservoirs are no longer strong enough to keep the water in them. The problem is even with the open gates, the water has nowhere to go. President Trump is going to visit Corpus Christi. He's not thankfully going to Houston today because of the emergency situation there, but he will be in Corpus Christi. The Texas governor said today in a front page story in the New York Times, this will change our way of life for the next generation. This of course referring to Hurricane Harvey. The rain in Houston is expected, expected to stop sometime later this afternoon, finally, sometime in the fifth day. Meanwhile, losses for the uh, insurance industry continue to uh, be unpredicted. Uh, what is known is that the top three commercial property insurers in Texas are CNA, Liberty Mutual, and AIG. It's also known that the uh, major auto insurers writing in Texas are uh, State Farm, leading with 16 percent. Um, behind it is uh, Berkshire Hathaway with 10 percent. Allstate and Progressive Insurance right behind and Farmers Insurance right behind them. Uh, it's likely that uh, many of the auto insurers will be uh, hard hit on the uh, homeowners insurance policies, um, which uh, are likely going to have flood insurance carve-outs. Uh, they may not be hard hit at all. Meanwhile, in uh, Europe, the uh, reinsurance industry is watching very carefully um, third quarter cat budgets at the four major European reinsurers should be able to largely contain Hurricane Harvey, even if the storm generates a $20 billion insured industry loss. However, London-based carriers could be a little bit more vulnerable. It's expected that uh, the London market uh, are more typically exposed to Gulf of Mexico windstorm losses given their energy exposures. Uh, Lancashire is uh, apparently London's most exposed carrier. Um, meanwhile, behind them, um, it seemed as if Beasley, uh, which had been uh, number two in Gulf of Mexico exposure, apparently offloaded much of their Gulf exposure earlier this year. So it's possible that um, Beasley might be out of the zone of uh, being targeted, if you will. Um, that's about it for right now. Everybody is still waiting for people to be able to get into the area. Drones have been flying back and forth over Houston in particular and over the shipping facilities and refinery facilities. But until people can actually get in there on the ground and see what's going on, uh, losses are still going to be inconclusive. Remarkably confirmed, only three people have lost their lives. Meanwhile, evacuations are continuing. Helicopters are going 24 hours a day, pulling people off roofs of homes, and the situation continues to deteriorate. And as I said, it is still raining. That's the news for today. If we have any other news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.